hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make a customized shoulder pad so you are likely going to see this type of shoulder pad in the recent styles and designs that you have been seeing on instagram mostly on vicky james dresses so today i'm going to show you guys how to attach the shoulder pad and the reason why we use shoulder pads most of the time is to add volume to the shoulder and there are some women that have a very small shoulder or they don't really have a perfect shoulder perfect shoulder so that's the reason why we attach shoulder pads so here is the dress that i'm going to be adding the shoulder pad to it has a skin illusion neckline so i'm going to add a shoulder pad to it in order to add fullness to the person's shoulder we know that sometimes you really need your shoulder to be very very noticeable so that it can bring out the style that you are making for the person so here is the shoulder pad that i bought it is 0 0.4 inch wide i don't know the type of shoulder pad that people do see in the market but here is the one that i bought this is the raw one so you are free to customize it the way you want so the length of the shoulder the length of the shoulder pad is nine inches so first of all i'm going to give you the shape that i want and here is the shape that i want it to have i'll place it on the other one and i'll also cut so for what i'm doing 0 0.4 inch is actually much so i would like to reduce the wideness of this should the thickness of this shoulder pad the shoulder pad is actually thick so i'll go ahead and use my scissors to trim down the thickness a bit i want to like trim it down so that it will not be too too thick it will be thick but it will not be too thick so i'll also show you guys how to achieve a flat shoulder pad in case you want to achieve a flat shoulder pad i'll also show you guys how to do that in this video as well so i'll go ahead and trim down the thickness of the second shoulder pad and at the end of the day this is what i have and i think i am satisfied with this thickness that i have right now if you want your shoulder pad to be very high sometimes you can even double it but you can even double it but for what i'm making i don't want it to be double so i'll have to wrap it with this doll face fabric i'll place it inside it and i'll cover and then i will cut out the fabric that we use to wrap it or to cover it so in case you are doing a skin illusion you can use a skin illusion fabric to cover this so this is what i have i will place them very well i will also go ahead and sew it on my sewing machine i'll have to sew it around so that i can hold down the fabric and the shoulder part together so i'll go ahead and run a stitch around it then i'll come back this is this is what i have after running the stitch i'll go ahead and trim out the ss fabric so as you can see it is looking neat now at least after adding your trimmings or your embellishments people will not be seeing the color of the shoulder pad so this is what i have at the end of the day so i'll go ahead and iron it down this is for the people that want their shoulder pad to be flat if you want it to be flat just sprinkle water on it and iron it it will be flat and this one is okay for your ready to wear dresses it is very very okay and i bought this for um two of them i bought the two 100 naira 50 50 naira each so here is the dress that i'm adding the shoulder parts so here is the trick if you want your shoulder to look wider you have to join your sleeve before adding the shoulder pad i don't know if you get if you want the person to have a wide shoulder illusion you have to join your sleeve first of all before adding the shoulder pad just like what i'm doing right now i have joined the sleeve already before i added the shoulder pad and as you can see the shoulder pad crossed the joining between the shoulder and the sleeve you can see the joining where i joined my sleeve to the shoulder the shoulder part crossed it so that the shoulder of the person will look wider but if you want the person to have um a small shoulder illusion the sh you have to join the shoulder part to the shoulder of the dress before joining your sleeve i don't know if you understand you have to join 
the shoulder pad first of all before joining the sleeve so that is just it if you want a wider shoulder you will join your sleeve before placing the shoulder pad the way you want it and if you want a smaller shoulder you will have to join the shoulder pad first before the sleeve so at the end of the day you can go ahead and add your trimmings and that is it for this video it's a very short video but i hope it is helpful so guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video thank you guys so much i appreciate you all for your support all this way thank you and bye